morning. Welcome to the Daily Word for Daily Living. This publication is presented to you by Great Oaks Apostolic Church. We're located at 25687 Jefferson Avenue in the beautiful city of Marietta, California. If you ever happen to be in the area, we would love you to come and to worship the Lord with us. Our topic today is Transformed to be a Living Testimony. Our lesson today is going to come from the book of Acts, chapter 22, and I will read verses 1 through 3, uh, and I will read from the King James Version. Please listen to the reading of God's word. Men, brethren, and fathers, hear ye my defense, which I make now unto you. And when they heard that he spake in the Hebrew tongue to them, they kept the more silence, and he said, I am verily a man which am a Jew, born in Tarsus, a city in Silica, yet brought up in this city at the feet of Gamaliel, and taught according to the perfect manner of the law of the fathers, and was zealous toward God, as ye all are this day. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading and the hearing of his word. Again, our topic is transformed by the power of God to be a living testimony. In the book of Acts, you would have to read the entire 22nd chapter of Acts as a young man whose name used to be Paul, it's get, I'm sorry, used to be Saul, is giving his testimony of his conversion and how he later became Paul. Let him know that uh, he was on the road to Damascus and he had letters that was uh, designed to persecute the Christians. But God met him along the way, stopped him, and now Paul is testifying before the leaders of the land that now he too is a Christian. Paul is testifying that his life has been changed. He is no longer what he used to be. Now, the reason why this week, this entire week, as we deal with you being a living testimony, the reason why this particular lesson is important because it's going to introduce you to the fact that your life should be a testimony. You see, there was a time when maybe you went about doing things that were totally contrary to the word of God. Then God stopped you. Maybe someone witnessed to you and told you that Jesus loved you and you believed it and you accepted him. And then you accepted the plan of salvation. Well, I'm here to let you know today that your life should be a testimony. You should be telling everyone about what God has done for you, what you used to be, and what you now are. And your life should match the words that you're speaking. So throughout this week, this is what we're going to go through. I hope that you'll sit back and enjoy it and look for it every morning. May the Lord bless you and may the Lord keep you as you become a witness in a very dark world. Now go and get the victory.